Hi, I'm Carlos Fortunato, I'm 30 years old and I completed the coding traineeship with a career switch. I always enjoyed the idea of working with coding and I had a few brushes with it here and there, but I sort of always end up falling back into my old routine. Shortly after I reached 29, I decided enough was enough and I was going to teach myself how to code for real. I wanted to be a web developer and while it was quite clear that I should start by learning CSS, HTML and JavaScript, it wasn't too long until I felt a bit lost. It basically felt that as soon as I started sort of branching out from those three main technologies, there was just so many frameworks and tech stacks and different ways of working and I just, I just didn't know how to move forward anymore. I started looking online for boot camps. I just needed something to give me a north. And that's when I learned about a security switch and that uh, the code traineeship seemed to be exactly what I needed. The interactive course made me realize that there was just so much that I didn't know, even though I had spent so much of my time studying by myself. Looking back now, it's so clear that the real life skills that I was learning were gonna be useful not only to complete the portfolio projects, but that they were skills that I still use to this day. And speaking about projects, they were my favorite part of the program. Uh, they gave me a chance to put the knowledge I've acquired to test by creating real life applications, all while knowing that there was a mentor waiting for my message in case I needed anything. The recruitment phase was also exceptional. In a matter of days, I had built an attractive portfolio, a solid resume, and an outstanding LinkedIn profile. And one month after finishing the traineeship, I was offered a front-end web developer position at Designer Websites, a company that delivers high-quality commerce websites and online marketing strategies that boost sales and drive business growth. My first task as soon as I get to work is to make myself a nice cup of coffee. The only right way to start a day. Next, I check my emails to see if anything urgent has popped up. Once this is done, the real work begins. No two days are usually the same. Because we work on new projects, but also offer a lot of post-development support, I am usually converting new designs into web pages or making changes requested by clients in our SEO team. My favorite task is to convert a design into a new website. Don't get me wrong, I love the challenge of making something that already exists even better, but there's something special in being involved in the creation of something brand new. The fact that we create bespoke websites is also very rewarding. I understand the advantage of CSS libraries, such as Bootstrap, for example, but I really enjoy the freedom to style everything from scratch. Another invaluable perk of this job is a combined half a century of experience accumulated by my colleagues that I have at my disposal. I get to research and learn new techniques with the peace of mind that when push comes to shove, I have a lot of support around me. At around 1pm, I take a break to have some food, chill for a bit and put my thoughts in order. Luckily, I get to do that in a fantastic games room where I can spend time with my colleagues and of course beat them in various games. In the afternoon, I go through my emails again and make sure that everything due to go live is tested and ready for production. Once I'm satisfied with my progress, I publish my changes and let our DevOps team know. Once my work is live, I ensure that everything is in order by following meticulous testing routine in the production environment. It never hurts to double check. By this time, our project manager will usually have provided me with tasks for the next day, which I get to research on, plan and start to work on as well. And this is a day in the life of a web developer. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching.